Mr. Spade? Mr. Spade? Looks like prescription drugs, but what are they for exactly? I should bring that back to my cart. Clarington Hotel reception desk, Beth speaking. What can I do for you on this very fine day? Beth, I need your help. Sophie? What's going on? I, I think Mr. Spade's stalking me while I work. Really? I knew it! You did? I mean, I knew there was something fishy about him. He just has creep written all over his face, you know? How did you find out? He took pictures of me. I... I found them hanging over the bathtub. 
He set up a kind of dark room. Pictures of you? Doing what? Um, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but sometimes when I clean the rooms, I get a little curious and, um, you know, snoop through our guest stuff. Sneaky. And Mr. Spade caught you in the act, I suppose? Yes. I think... I think we should call the police. No, that's a terrible idea. But... Sophie, that man has pictures of you running your hands through people's stuff. But I didn't steal anything. I was just snooping, I swear. I know, I know, but... Say a client reports something missing, those pictures would put a big red target on your back. I could always throw them out. Yeah, not your worst idea, but... You found the pictures drying over the bath, right? Yeah. I'm no photographer, but I've been in one of those dark rooms before. You have? Yeah. I modeled for a while. Anyway, what I'm getting at is... Those pictures were developed recently, but it doesn't mean there aren't more elsewhere. Well, I didn't look through the entire room, but there is a safe here. I bet you anything there'll be more pictures in there. Do you have the safe combination then? I'm pretty sure it's locked. What? I can't find the combination list. The night staff's probably lost it again. Anyway, we always ask that clients write down their code somewhere so they don't have to call reception a dozen times. Maybe you can have a look around the room, and I call you if Mr. Creep comes back. You know, so you can get out of there in time. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, it's nothing. Oh, and Beth? Mm-hmm. Please keep this between us. Of course. I'd forget my own head if I didn't write everything down. I guess we have that in common. Did you intend for me to discover your little dark room? Or did this just fall down? That's a lot of film. How many pictures have you taken, Mr. Spade? No combination, no entry. Hmm. Locked. There has to be a key somewhere. just visited the oratory for the first time in years. This has to be a coincidence, right? Beaver Lake? That's where I took mom's kitty in last month. Why is this up here? Here's Diner too. Were we ever there at the same time? This was the sale where I found that winter jacket that mom loves. Were you there too? Morgan, is that your real name? 
Why did you check in under Mr. Spade? Lindsay, did something happen between the two of you before she died? Is this a floor of the Clarington? That's, that's my schedule. Just how long have you been watching me? Something tells me you won't be missing this. One man's trash is another maid's trash. I hope you aren't eating those beans. You didn't strike me as much of a doodler. Numbers. Sort of. These look like numbers. Sort of. X marks the spot. But there's no way this is just a treasure hunt. Uh, request to move to 507. Why did you want to change rooms? Could that be a reminder for the safe combination? What do we have here?
You spent 10 years in a psychiatric hospital. And it looks like you left with a long list of diagnoses and prescriptions. Date of discharge, 1957. Hmm, 57. The storm must be getting worse. I hope Mom's not too bored without her TV shows. Ninety-ninth Infantry Division. Ninety-nine. This must have been so much fun. Well, for the guests at least. Linda's been putting these everywhere lately. It's weird that Bernard allows it.
Does carrying this everywhere really make us better maids? Bernard seems to think so. Another day, another dirty dish to pick up. Mr. Spade? Mr. Spade? I should bring that back to my cart. Clarington Hotel reception desk, Beth speaking. What can I do for you on this very fine day? Beth, it's Sophie. Can I... Can I speak to Andrew, please? Um... Yeah, hold on. Andrew? Andrew? I'm here, I'm here. <clears throat> Clarington Hotel reception desk, Andrew speaking. Hey, are you okay? Hey, Sophie. Yeah, it's just... my trip to the sixth floor took longer than expected. Oh, I'm sorry to add to your plate, but I really need your help. Sure. What's up? I, I think Mr. Spade's stalking me while I work. Mr. Spade? Why would he... I don't know. He took pictures of me. I... I found them hanging over the bathtub. He set up a kind of dark room. Jesus. What are you doing in them exactly? Um, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but sometimes when I clean the rooms, I get a little curious and, um, you know, snoop through our guest stuff. Oh. And Mr. Spade caught you in the act? Yes. I think... I think we should call the police. Whoa, whoa, slow down a minute. But... Sophie, there are pictures of you invading our guests' privacy. But I didn't steal anything. I was just snooping, I swear. I believe you, I believe you. But others might not. With those pictures, it could really blow up in your face if a guest were to complain about missing items. But shouldn't I warn someone? What if that man's dangerous? I understand, but what if he's not? 
What if he's just making some experimental art? You think this looks like an artistic experiment? All I'm saying is, it could mean anything. Blowing the whistle on him could stir up a lot of trouble for nothing. It'd be smarter to dig a little first, just to be sure. Are you telling me I should snoop around? Well, it's nothing you haven't done before, is it? Andrew? Nah, come on. A little joke's never killed anyone. <laughs> Any idea where I should start, then? Well, according to my notes, Mr. Spade asked for the combination to his room safe. There's a good chance he stored something in it. Maybe, but I don't have the code. Maybe I can... Give me a sec. What? Bad news is, I can't find the combination list. Good news is, we can probably do without it. Most guests write their code down to make sure they don't forget it. So, say you wanted to look for it, I could keep an eye out and call you if I see our mysterious photographer return. Okay, yeah. Thank you. No problem. Oh, and Andrew? Yes? Please keep this between us. Of course. Don't worry about that. Thank you.